Whew. <clears throat> What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Um, <laughs> it's been crazy. I've had so much stuff that's been going on. I just got back home uh, this afternoon and stuff and getting ready for tomorrow's game day. Don't worry, we got the big sub. We are doing a fried pork chop sandwich. If you wanna know how I do the pork chops, check out my other channel, Cooking and Tailgating with Joe Boo because we're, I actually did a test run on taking the pork tenderloin chops and actually frying them up and did some sandwiches for my wife and, and the family and stuff. They're like, oh my God, this is like heaven. So I can't wait to have the big sub tomorrow. So um, crazy things, crazy things. Micah Parsons, Micah Parsons, it's insane that Micah Parsons hasn't played for two full seasons yet for the Dallas Cowboys, right? I don't think you guys understand the gravity of what he is doing with this team. Micah Parsons is an absolute positive beast. And this is one of those mind-blowing things, for me at least, Maybe it's not for you guys, but for me, it's kind of mind-blowing. Right now, Micah, in his second season, is 13th tied with Tyrone Crawford for most sacks as a Dallas Cowboy. 13th. If he gets just two and a half more sacks this year, he'll move up to 11th? Or 10th, maybe 10th. It may be 10th with two and a half more sacks. If he gets to 27 and a half, so if he gets to 28, he'll be there by himself. If he gets nine sacks, if he gets nine sacks, which is conceivable with six games left, he's had more multiple uh, sack games than anybody else over the last two years by far. If he were to get nine, he would tie the number of sacks that Charles Haley had as a Dallas Cowboy. Not the 90, uh, excuse me, not the 100 and, 101 that he had in his career, because he had a whole bunch more before he came to Dallas. But will have as many sacks as Charles Haley as a Dallas Cowboy, 34. I'm kind of surprised that it's only 34 with the Cowboys, but be that as it may. That's crazy. That's insane. Now, it's a big jump because then after that, you start talking about Randy White. He ain't getting, to, he ain't getting into the 50s. He ain't not, not, not right now. But I don't think you guys understand. He is literally that good that when you take all of the Dallas Cowboys... If he gets three more sacks, he's in the top 10 in his second year. And you think about some of the great defenses we've had with the Doomsday defense, with um, the Doomsday 2, the Doomsday in the 90s. It's freaking insane. Micah Parsons is an absolute positive beast. And we're going to need that come playoff time. I'm hoping that having the Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, that these extra days for the Cowboys get them a little bit healthier. Having three of the next four games at home so they don't have to worry about traveling and being on an airplane that, you know, they go play and then go home and rest and relax and get ready for the next contest. Because this is critical. This is a big day tomorrow. I don't think you guys understand. Now, of course... We are 10 and a half point favorites to go ahead and knock out the Colts, you know, and hopefully we just stomp on them. I just hope it's just a blowout where they say, is there another game we could switch to? No, there's not. No, it's Sunday night football. 
You can't switch to another game. But I hope it's literally a blowout, that it's literally over at halftime. That the defense gets back on track and keeping them down to, say, I don't know, 10 points. That the offense continues with the 33.8 points per game that they've been doing. And they show people, yeah, this is how you do it. Yeah. Na, 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 na. This is how they do it. Yeah. It's Sunday night. Yeah. That's how I hope they do it. But all seriousness, tomorrow's a big day because this is actually one of the bigger challenges for the Eagles. The Eagles don't have a lot of big challenges, but the Eagles are playing the Titans, a team that's gotten some victories, be it over some of the dreads of the NFL, but they're still winning games. They're going to face a big back in Derrick Henry, something that they've had problems with. And hopefully, we'll finally see the Eagles bite the dust. It's another big day for the Giants and the Commanders. Commanders. Left hand up. Playing the Giants. Divisional game. Anything can happen. And we'll be covering. We'll be here. We'll be here in the man cave. We'll be watching both of those simultaneously here in the man cave. My man DMV will be here. E2 Blues, the world traveler right now. He's not back. I haven't heard from Rashid, so I don't know if he's coming, but I would probably say he probably is. Um, David Wiley should be there tomorrow night. Uh, I think uh, Daniel's going to be here. Um, uh, Wes, Wes, one of you guys is supposed to join us. He's in town too as well. So we're, we're, we're working on having the crowd and stuff here. We'll have a good time. We'll watch the games. We'll eat some pork sandwich and we'll eat some chicken wings. We got the glizzies. So we, we ready to roll. We ready to roll and have a good time. Hmm. That's it. That's all I got. And I'm thinking, I actually want to get my ass in bed because tomorrow is going to be a long, long stream. We talk about whew, 11 hours. 11 hours. And um, I hope, wouldn't it be cool if Mikey Parsons slid into the top 10 tomorrow? Because um, I need my team to get back on track on the sacks. Uh, having seven sacks the week before, three this past week, we need to go ahead and get like seven tomorrow so that way we can get back on pace for that NFL record 72. We have 45. We got a ways to go, a ways to go with six games. And I want to see that happen. All right, good people. You know how we roll. You know how we roll. We appreciate you. We love you. And remember to tell the people you love that you love them because you might not get the chance again. And um, I forgot what day Joseph said it was going to be. Um, Joseph Heatherly, shout out to Joseph Heatherly, is sending me a bunch of stuff for me to give away. Um, you've seen like the, the truck that I have on the outdoor studio set and things. I know he's sending a bunch of those, some Cowboys paraphernalia and stuff. Um, and I, you know, it's, it's basically a, who knows what else he said. There's something in there special for me. He said, I'll recognize it when I see it. Um, uh, okay. So it'll be an early Christmas for me, but I am so blessed and so thankful to have so many wonderful people here that have helped me to do this and I am grateful I am humbled and I am appreciative of each and every one of you and um, we'll see you tomorrow sure is windy out here tonight we'll see you tomorrow for game day peace out